Barry Hankerson sat down for an exclusive interview with Dr. Oz, where he spoke about the shocking and heartbreaking death of his niece Aaliyah, who passed away in 2001, at the young age of 22. Hankerson, who was once married to singer Gladys Knight, started his label, Black Ground Records, when no one would support Aaliyah. He shared it was very typical in the music industry, because she was so very young, they didn't have the foresight to envision a year or two down the road, what she could be. They didn't want to put the time in to develop an artist. It was all about instant talent at the time, and getting the artist on a record. But Aaliyah was special, she always viewed things differently, friends and family were in awe of her. She would always sing around the house, anytime, anywhere, and she loved the song, My Funny Valentine. After appearing on Star Search, they decided to put more time into working with her, after she started talking about wanting to sing and perform. The day Aaliyah died, Hankerson said he was on his farm in Georgia, when he got the phone call from the video director Hype Williams, saying the singer was gone. He said he was devastated. He immediately called Minister Farrakhan, he asked the minister if he could please call God. Could he talk to God? The minister would then reply, that there was nothing he could do. He said he could never come to grips with the fact that she's gone, she was so wonderful. When asked by Dr. Oz if he could go back and change anything, what would he do differently to protect Aaliyah? He replied that that was such a good ugly question, as there have been many nights, where he stayed awake, wondering, if he had planned differently, if he was at the video shoot, if his sister, Aaliyah's mom, were there with her, if somebody else could have been there, to help her make a better decision about getting on that flight. He shared that it was the video director Hype Williams, who suggested that they shoot the video in the Caribbean. In all honesty, he said he didn't want to use the director, but there was a push from her mom, who was her manager at the time, to do a video with Hype, even though he was totally against it. He stated that was one regret he had. If he could do it all over, he would not have worked with him. It's the first time he's ever said that out loud, but that's what was truly in his heart, when his name came up. When asked if it was more his sister than Rob, pushing for Aaliyah to work with the director, he said he wasn't sure. But there was some type of connection, that his sister had with Rob. He said that he couldn't explain what it was, she would have to say for herself, but it was due to that connection, Rob began to creep into their lives. According to Hankerson, Hype Williams worked closely with Rob, on a number of music videos, so there was a real push from her mother, for Aaliyah to work with Hype, more than any other video director. But after the whole situation with Rob marrying 15-year-old Aaliyah, he wanted nothing to do with him. He tried to cut ties with the artist as much as possible, but he lost the battle, as Aaliyah's mother wanted her daughter, to work with Hype specifically. He was asked by Dr. Oz, what did he do when he learned that Rob illegally married his niece? He shared that he went crazy, his reaction was not a good one. He met with the minister, as he had no understanding of what was going on. He had no compassion for it, it was totally out of the realm, of what any young girl, should ever have to experience. He made his thoughts known to Rob during a conversation, and they have never spoken to each other again, to this day. He shared he felt terribly betrayed by Rob, as he also was managing him at the time. He trusted the musician would help Aaliyah with her career, just as he'd helped Rob with his. He shared that his whole family felt betrayed by the singer, when they showed him so much love, and understanding, because he had a tough life. He really wanted to retaliate, but due to the mentorship of Minister Farrakhan, he decided to go a different route, going along with his sister, mainly to protect Aaliyah, from any further pressure from the family, or the public. Aaliyah's main focus, was to pursue her career, nothing was going to get in the way of that, she wouldn't allow it. At the time, he said that Rob was very disruptive. He wanted hands in everything Aaliyah would do, and always wanted to be the center point of making her music. Even after they managed to work out a release, to get Aaliyah away from Jive to Blackground Records, Rob was still trying to produce Aaliyah's music, until finally he understood that he would never get Aaliyah in the studio, ever again. 
Pressure grew as people questioned, how will they duplicate the success Aaliyah had with her first album? There were doubts that it would be possible, since Rob had a heavy hand in her debut album, Age Ain't Nothing But A Number. But Hankerson said he would draw on his own experience, of years being in the music business. They would soon team up with Timberland and Missy Elliott, and there was nothing to be said after that. He stated he was relentless in getting Alia away from it all, despite how Diane, Alia's mother felt about it. He believed in Alia, while they believed, in Rob. He said Alia agreed with his decision, every step of the way. He was asked if he has a strained relationship with his sister, due to Rob marrying Alia. He was also asked if Rob paid the family money, to keep quiet about the marriage. Hankerson replied he doesn't think the family took money, to keep things quiet about the marriage. Rob was a big artist, who made the labels tons of money, so they worked hard to protect him, they didn't know how to relate to Aaliyah, the woman in the situation. He said he hasn't tried to bridge the gap with his sister Diane, he doesn't even know how or why, they became estranged. He shared he doesn't know why his sister has done some of the things she's done, things he's grossly opposed to, and he doesn't know these groups of people that call themselves, the estate. Regardless of what has taken place, they've all done some things in life, that were out of character, and out of context. At this point in his life, he's very forgiving, because when a parent loses a child, you have to reach them with a lot of love. His goal was to keep Aaliyah's music alive, in a more controlled space. He thought he was doing the right thing by his niece, however, Diane released a statement, objecting to the streaming release of her music. In conclusion, he admitted that Rob had a hand in the distance, that now stands between him and his sister. He doesn't see himself ever getting past it, as he's been living with it, for a long time. He also stated he had no clue what was going on with Rob and Aaliyah at the time, he was completely ignorant of it, but he believes that her mother, Diane, knew more than everyone thought she knew, during that time. Check out some of our videos that you may have missed, and stay tuned to our channel, for more press release content.